Take a deep breath. Relax. Don't rush. Don't rush. That's one thing. Don't rush. I can't, it can't be too long, too. <laughs> because what Obama, Obama said. Obama said. Obama. Barack Obama. He once said that when public speaking, don't be afraid to breathe or take a pause. What may seem like a lifetime of a pause is actually just enough of a pause. So don't worry, take your time, don't rush. Don't rush? Don't rush. <laughs> don't rush challenge? <laughs> don't rush. <laughs> What's up guys? That guy down here. And don't be fooled by the background because I'm still in the school, quarantined, just like you. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the COVID-19 situation in Cuba. At first, did not want to make a video like this because there's so much COVID-19 news around that it can get real depressing, 0 to 100, really quickly. But I thought about the people who would like or would be curious to know what is going on in Cuba in terms of how the students are adapting to the situation. So yeah, I'm going to be talking about three things. How many cases are there in Cuba? What are the measures being taken to contain the disease? And what is the state of the students that are studying here and the future for us? So let's go. Alright, so how many cases are there in Cuba right now? You might be curious. The first case of COVID-19 in Cuba was confirmed on March 17, 2020. It was a 42-year-old from Ciego de Avila. Uh, it's a province in Cuba and the Cuban came from the US. Ever since that case, the number has slowly risen due to uh, increased efficiency of tests and availability of those tests as well. So as of the 7th of April, which was yesterday, according to the Ministry of Public Health in Cuba, Cuba now has 396 confirmed cases with 1,752 being admitted into the hospital. 27 of them are recovered and 11 have passed away. There are 15,762 people that are currently under monitoring in their homes. In terms of which province has the most number of cases right now, it is being led by Havana and Via Clara respectively. So what are the preventative measures being enforced in Cuba? Well, as of the 24th of March, the Cuba government devised a series of preventative measures with the aim of reducing the spread of COVID-19. These preventative measures can be categorized into five categories. All right, the first one is border control and isolation. There will be a limit of people coming in and also, if they do come in, there will be a 14-day quarantine imposed on them. The second measure relates to commerce, where they will allow the entry of planes and ships that carry cargo and other materials, useful resources, and the crew will follow the same protocols. The third one relates to cooperation and assistance. Basically, Cuba is going to designate their airports in function of helping other countries around the world. So they'll organize flights to send off Cuban doctors, which they already have been doing. The fourth one is called organized flights, where the Cuban government will basically help those tourists and foreign visitors that are still in the country and help them get back to their original country. All right, and the last one deals with leisure and gastronomy. Basically, all places of mass gathering like uh, nightclubs, theaters, and the like will be shut down, as well as a reduction of 50% of the gastronomical services. Those restaurants and stuff that are still going to be open, they have to abide by new rules, such as the two meter distance between tables. And there are other measures that I'm going to tell you guys that I've noticed around the school and other places, such as social distancing, mandatory enforcement of face masks, increased police presence, travel restrictions within the country to the different provinces. Yeah, a lot of things have happened since the 24th of March when those preventive measures were implemented. And now, as of yesterday, new phase comes increased screening, uh, more limitations, especially on alcohol consumption in the gastronomical establishments, as well as limits on how many people can actually be in the bus 
at one time because buses are still running and also further analysis on which businesses are deemed essential or non-essential and thus analysis on whether or not to close certain businesses well guys this just in Cuba has now confirmed 61 new cases as of today April 8 2020 which brings the total number of cases up to 457 closure of schools medical students going door to door to do respiratory illness screening of people in their communities the implementation of little hand sanitizing boots at every entrance of every establishment, restaurant, school, people's homes, the suspension of foreign vessels coming into Cuban waters, the restriction of non-essential sectors, the suspension of public, sports, cultural, and political events slated for April and May. So how are we students faring? And what's next for us? Well, I can't speak for every student in this country, but I can of my school in Santiago de Cuba. As far as I know, everybody is calm. Everybody is following the strict rules, such as hand sanitizing, wearing masks. We're limiting our exposure to the outside world. We're staying inside for the most part because we can't really come out right? like that. And there's not much things to do outside anymore. So yeah, everybody is doing pretty okay. Cuba now has a drug. I'm not sure if it's a new drug or what, but it's called Provengovir. And it's a homeopathic drug that you take by droplets and its aim is to help give us help boost our immune system help prevent respiratory illnesses such as this one so they have cuba has uh, has already been distributing it amongst its people so eventually it will get to us and hopefully it works the future is uncertain but it is we have been told that we would go back or classes would resume on the 20th of April. And that's the end of this video guys. As we wait for the day we can go back outside and explore, to go back to our job, to meet our friends and family, you know, to explore the world once more. Please use your time wisely. Pick up an old habit. Start um, that business you said you would do. And yeah, just learn something. I know that this is a very serious crisis, but I believe we can get through this together. So stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.